Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Greybearded Summoner, and welcome back to Fire Emblem Heroes, where today, you know what time of year it is. It is time for the summer predictions for the 2024 first summer banner. And yeah, it's my favorite time of year. I like to get a, I like to get into the spirit of things. So, as with all of my predictions, I will state in advance that these are going to be heavily favored by my bias. We do not have the silhouettes yet. That will be easily two to three weeks away. So, I have no, pr I have nothing to go on for these except, again, my own biases and just gut feelings of, and for units I would want to see and just gut feelings of what may or may not happen. But that's enough prattling on from me. Ike, buddy, go ahead and get on out of there. And we will go ahead. The first banner, the first thought I had for Summer Banner would be Binding. It would be a mix of Binding and uh, 30 CS 776. Reason why, the Harmonic Unit would be Ishtar and Brynja. Now, other than the usual reasons that these two would make a stellar summer unit, there is also the similarities in the characters themselves. They're practically the same, for lack of a better word, trope. They're both Jitten, they're both could be decent people. They're just on the wrong side and fell in love with the wrong person. And they followed both of them. Both of them followed their heart to their untimely end. Spoiler warning, I guess. So, okay. I have the harmonic. And for anyone who's been following me in any of the other streams, the Joel's or anyone else's that I happen to pop in on, I push this unit kind of hard. Because I think it would be a, sun a fantastic summer unit. But who's next? Alwyn. This lady has very few alts. She only has, if I'm remembering correctly, she only has her base form and her green alt that has the also dual attacking weapon. So, yeah. Alwyn getting a summer alt, and I, especially with this art, I think she can fill it out rather well. Also, Marita. Of the units that, you know, for lack of a better word, share her bloodline, Ira, Larce, herself, and the Brigid and Ival. She is the one that's gotten the... Yes, she does have that ascended form, but she... And the fallen form, but she still doesn't have a whole lot of alts. And both of those... And both of the... Both the ascended and the fallen forms are rather old. With her fallen form being her first outing in Fire Emblem Heroes. So yeah, I could definitely see Marita showing up. And then finally, the Tempest Trial. And uh, magic is broken if you watch these. This one's for you. Oh, excuse me. No, I apologize. <laughs> Sorry, miscounted. My bad. But Zephiel, just if for no other reason than, number one, to put a guy on the banner. Not... Intelligent systems usually at least once one. So, put a guy on the banner and give Brunya a reason to be here. But, again, I apologize that this was mistimed. Magic, this one's for you. Tempest Trial, Summer, Reinhardt. It may not be a Dire Thunder refine, but I figure you could appreciate being able to plus 10 your boy and not spend any orbs on it. Speaking of spending orbs, the next thought I had for a summer banner would be just a mixture of a lot of different games, which has happened in the past as well. They, they'll either go focus down two games specifically, or they'll do just a myriad of games. So... Since they've been aiming to get Oblivion's money as much as Oblivion Knight's money as much as possible, Happy and Petra 
duo hero. This one in particular is where, and you could flip-flop these. You could have Happy in front or Petra in front. It really doesn't matter. And, like I said, if IS continues the trend of going after Oblivion's money, this will happen. My thought on this banner is, for lack of a better phrasing, a sun-kissed banner. And with this, with that, next up would be Athena. As she hasn't gotten an alt at all, and she's a Gen 1 unit. And I think she deserves a little time in the sun. Yes, I meant to make that pun. After that, Aversa. With the exception of her Resplendent, she hasn't gotten a whole lot of attention. So, and her base form was, and her base form and her Resplendent were both pretty solid. I can't say whether or not they'd be anything in the actual meta right now, but I would like to see Aversa get a little time in the spotlight. Again, get a little time in the sun. And I think uh, she would appreciate a alter an alt, specifically a summer alt. Also, this is one I've been pulling for regardless. You'll probably see this one twice. Not gonna lie, because I'm really me and Toto. The other faith, the other faith tuber and artist and very skilled artist, love Ash, and I believe a summer alt of Ash would be right up our alley, and it would even go along with storyline, where Asker, in the last Tempest Trials, him and Elm greeted Lady Embla in her bridal gown, and Asker said Ash will be along shortly. Now. Whether that's we're getting Bride Ash next year, or he meant she's coming for the next Special Heroes banner, which would be Summer. Maybe I'm grasping at something that isn't there, but eh, if this, these videos are anything, it's for the ability of me to grasp something, grasp something that may not be there, but yeah, expect to see her on both lists. And then finally, the Tempest Trials unit, because they gotta get a dude in there somewhere. Did do. I think I think he's overdue. Over to do for an alt. And a summer alt would fit, especially with the fact that Dimitri has a summer alt as well. So they could find the two the, the two could find themselves meeting up. Now with this, I wanted to leave a little bit of room here at the end for other possibilities who else could show up if we're even going along the lines of my current choices there's a possibility of summer Igrin. wouldn't hurt my feelings though she has had an alt recently but it's been about six to seven months so maybe maybe not also Summer Gold Mary, the Fire Emblem Engage character, is a strong possibility that they pull the trigger on her. Whether they do that with Summer 1 or Summer 2 is another matter. Me personally, I think they might save her for Summer 2 if they drop her at all. And pair her up with whether it's this coming Summer Banner or it's the one after, or it's the second one. Expect to see Summer Gold Egg. Summer of Gold Lake is coming this year, and a lot of people will be disappointed if she doesn't. Whether she's going to be a duo harmonic or just a normal unit, I have a suspicion they're probably going to put her as a normal unit. Because while there are options that they could give her for a harmonic or duo, I think they'll probably just stick to having her solo. That's just my speculation. And again, these are just thoughts again i have no premise with which to have these with which any of these could actually show up so what do you think are my predictions have some logic do you do you agree with some of my predictions or do you think i'm completely off base and just 
not completely showing my bias, which, again, quite possibly as well. But thank you all for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you did. And until uh, with this, again, the trailer, the either the trailer or the Fae channel has not popped yet, so I don't know. But I will definitely be discussing that next week with my summoning video. Whether it's a spark or not will be another matter. But until next week and next time, I will see you on the battlefield. Take care, everyone.